Uh, my name is Sean Doran, and I work with my colleague, Liam Brown, who I'm going to embarrass slightly, standing in the, in the light green there. Um, and we both worked and were awarded the tender for programming the first year here at the Seamus Heaney Home Place and the Helicon performance space that has just been uh, announced. And it's a huge delight, a huge privilege, unquestionably, to be involved in this venture. And as you see here today, uh, how extraordinary the scale and the detail and the sensitivity of the building that has been put together in the name of one of our greatest writers uh, of all time on this island. And even, I could be wrong, but I do believe it is the first purpose-built, fully purpose-built literature centre on this island, north and south. I'd just like to say a few words, of course, that we have having the opening weekend, which is celebratory in opening the building with 15 events from the tomorrow to Sunday, and to announce actually uh, that we were going to have um, special guest actors. Fiona Shaw is flying over to uh, perform and read My Scene Lookout uh, at sunrise on Sunday morning, and she will also then uh, read. Uh, six of Seamus Heaney's poems in the evening as part of the Bach to Broach event where the Swiss cellist Christian Polterra is coming across from Switzerland playing a 300-year-old cello that was built at the same time as the Bach cello suites were written. And tomorrow for the first free reading at lunchtime here in the Helicon, Stephen Ray has agreed to come and read the early prose piece, Something to Write Home About. But it is the first quarter of a year-long programme that I'd like to just give you a little bit more insight uh, this morning to that has just been now uh, published and released. And as, as was said, the full year begins right on the hoof of the opening weekend. It begins at the 7th to 9th of October, uh, whereupon across the year, the 12 months, we are taking one each of Seamus Heaney's poetry collections in chronological order from Death of a Naturalist published in 1966 through to Human Chain in, published in 2010. So Death of a Naturalist in October, Door into the Dark in November, Wintering Out in uh, December, North in January, Fieldwork in February, Station Island in uh, March and it goes on right through to September uh, 2017. And the books have laid themselves down quite extraordinarily in a very seasonal way, with wintering out in December, Station Island picking up the St. Patrick Island in March, and Seeing Things, the visionary collection in May. But to take the first three collections, uh, we will do two weekends each month of four or five events as kind of blocky breakaway uh, events to invite audiences from across the island and the UK to come and join the local audiences. And the first weekend, 7th to 9th, is inspired uh, principally, by, principally by the very popular poem Midterm Break, and it will open with the song recital uh, Gustav Mahler's Kindertoten Leader to be sung by Sarah Fulgoni in a very unique version with string quartet, the Macor string quartet coming over from Poland. And then on Sunday, picking up again on a prose piece, uh, Learning from T.S. Eliot, that Seamus Heaney wrote, an early influence in his career and the Playway poem, the penultimate poem in The Death of the Naturalist, bringing the two together, T.S. Eliot's four quartets, will actually be done with two actors on the Sunday, the 9th of October, and the string quartet of Beethoven, Opus 132, that inspired it, in St. Mary's Church, where Seamus was baptised and where the grave is. The four poems were between St. Mary's Church here in Balachi and two other churches. And Michel Faber, whose poetry collection on dying has recently been published, will also be speaking that weekend on grief and loss. And John Bowman uh, is speaking that weekend, and there's an 11 o'clock morning recital. So it's a rich weekend already um, following this celebratory opening weekend. Then in contrast, the second weekend in October uh, from 21st to the 23rd is uh, having a St. Columns event. Um, Phil Coulter will be part of a, a conversation, Heaney, sir, um, with James Sharkey and Father Liam Campbell. And in the evening, Phil Coulter will be uh, opening the home key um, music series as well, the singer-songwriters. In Across the three uh, months, we have two Booker Prize winners, James Kelman coming here in December and Alan Hollinghurst coming here in late November in discussion um, with Bernard Donoghue. Also a, a, a talk on birdsong with Horatio Clare and Mark Cocker 
uh, on Sunday the 23rd uh, of October. Louis de Bernier coming as well, talking about his love of poetry in early November. But it's all here in this brochure, as you can see, and the three man months are bookended by the recital that I spoke about of the Maller Kindertoten leader, and then on January the 5th, will close the wintering out month with a recital by Alice Coote of Schubert's Winterreise, which is performing here in the Helicon before taking it to the Carnegie Hall in New York. So a lot of riches to delve in and uh, to kick off the year, which we hope will be very exciting for audiences here and uh, from elsewhere to attend. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sean. And you can see.